Good morning and welcome. And uh, as we continue with our short series of devotionals, and we're talking this week on the topic of when God seems silent or when it's difficult to recognize God's presence in the things that we're going through in life. Uh, this morning, I want to talk to you about trusting God to keep his promises. Do you know that admitting your hopelessness to God can be a statement of real faith? Trusting God, but feeling despair at the same time, David wrote and prayed to God. And he said, I, I believed, so I said, I am completely ruined. Psalm 116, verse 10. That sounds like a contradiction. I trust God, but I'm wiped out. I'm ruined. But David's frankness actually reveals his deep faith. First, he believed God. Second, he believed God would listen to his prayer. And thirdly, he believed that God would let him say just what he felt. And he'd still love him. Regardless of your circumstances in life and how you feel, Hang on to God's unchanging character. Remind yourself of what you know to be eternally true about God. What are those things? You know he's good. He's a good God. He loves you. He's with you always. He knows where you're going. And he knows what you're going through. He cares about those things. He has a plan for your life. Those are the eternally true things about God. That doesn't change. The late Raymond Edmund, who was president of Wheaton College, he once said, Never doubt in the dark what God told you in the light. Or never doubt in the hard times what God tells you in the good times. When Job's life fell apart, and when God seemed silent to him, Job still found reasons to praise God. Even in the difficult times, Job still believed, and he believed the same as he believed in the good times. You can praise God for those same reasons. You know, you look through the book of Job. In chapter 10, verse 12, he says, God is good and God is loving. In Verse, uh, chapter 42, verse 2, he says, God's all powerful. In uh, chapter 23, verse 10, he says that God knows every detail of his life. Uh, in chapter 34, verse 13, he says that God's in control of everything. In chapter 23, verse 14, he says, God has a good plan for my life. And in Job 19, verse 25, he says that God will save him. Those things were true during the good times, and they're good during the hard times of Job's life. During times of spiritual dryness, patiently rely on the promises of God. Don't rely on your emotions. Realize that he's taking you to a deeper level of maturity because a friendship based on emotion is very shallow. So don't be troubled by trouble. Circumstances cannot change the character of God. God's grace is still in full force, and he is still there for you even when you don't feel it. Even in times of trouble. Job held on to the word of God. He said, I have not departed from the commands of his lips. I have treasured the words of his mouth more than my daily bread. Trusting in God's word caused Job to remain faithful, even though nothing in his life was making sense to him. His faith remained strong in the middle of the pain. And God honored and restored Job because of it. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you that we can know 
uh, even when our emotions tell us that God is not there, that he's promised to never leave us and never forsake us. He, we can know the good things about God are true during the difficult times of life as well as they're true during the good times of life. Help us to look to you and to uh, help you to strengthen our faith during those difficult times. And we'll give you praise for what you do in our lives daily. For we pray these things in Christ's name. Amen.